The time is right simply because I quit playing about six months ago as a professional football player. And I think I have the time now that's necessary to talk about my experiences in professional football as a homosexual. I didn't do it because it took me a long time to realise how I feel because when I started playing as a professional football player I was in a relationship with a woman and we stayed together for eight years and after that time you know when we broke up I uh, focused more on football because this is what I always wanted to do uh, be a professional football player uh, and only in the last few years I realised that um, I do want to live with a man uh, that I'm gay uh, but I never sort of need to talk about it openly until this day. I certainly think that it's possible and it will happen one day. In my case it just took longer to realise that I'm gay and, and to admit it to myself but I think young players these days uh, when they're sure about their feelings they can talk about it um, and hopefully, by talking about it the way I do now, it encourages some others um, because they see they can still be professional football players, they can play at the highest level and be gay. It's not a contradiction, as I proved, and therefore, hopefully, it gives some encouragement to young players. If you believe me or not, but I don't know a single gay football player personally. And just to put this right, you know, we, we didn't get together in the morning, every morning, to talk about our private lives. We got there to train together, to become better players, to win as a team, and not to you know, talk about our private lives all the time. That's just an illusion that people have. It's difficult to say for me whether there is uh, an anti-gay atmosphere because so far there isn't an openly gay football player in a European league. And it's probably easier if you compare it to racism. In racism, you know who people dislike when they you know, shout things at them. It's clearly visible. But gay football players so far don't exist officially. Um, I've heard homophobic comments when I was playing but I think it's always a different matter once people know who is gay and then we can judge it afterwards. So you probably ask me in a few years time and I can tell you. Yeah, that's not new to me. I've heard people say that. They think in football, in professional football, you have to be strong, powerful uh, and they think being gay means you aren't that, you're the opposite, you're soft, you know, you, you don't really like to tackle, you're very weak. Uh, but then I look at myself and, you know, people nicknamed me the hammer quite early on because I've got a powerful left foot, I'm a strong guy. So, you know, that's a contradiction again. Why do people think being gay also means that you're weak? I think I proved the opposite. There isn't a big difference if you look at the dressing room. Not much is being said, uh, neither in England nor in Germany. But there is a bigger difference in the media side of it. My experience was that in Germany, probably started about six or seven years ago, uh, the media wanted to find out who the gay football players are. They were actively searching, you know, you could read interviews and, and I saw documentaries and Still to this day, they really want to know because uh, statistically there must be gay football players. And in England, I would say, yes, they talked about it occasionally, but not to the extent that the German media did. No, not really. Uh, we never had any meetings where we talked about this subject I remember the time that we had was so limited, only three or four days where we had to prepare for an important game and that's the time we had to use to prepare ourselves properly and that's all we did and that's why you know, homosexuality wasn't really a big issue in the national team.
Well, I could speculate about it, but I'm not interested. I know that my family and my closest friends, to them it's not important that I talk about my experiences as a homosexual football player. But it's probably more important for those people who discriminate others uh, because of their sexuality. And those people now know they have a pronounced opponent.